Hey, what's up, y'all? So today we're doing something new. We're gonna play uh, a ride to love. Uh, a friend of mine turned me on to uh, Death Grips recently. Apparently, somebody released a Death Grips game a few years ago, and uh, I'm amped. I'm ready. Already, the shit is amazing. So good. All right, let's get started. Chapter one, a new school. New school. Who finally, here I am in front of my new high school. Joining a class in the middle of a school year can be tough, but I think I can do it. With some luck, I may make some friends and maybe get in a relationship, but for now, I have to meet the headmaster. Going to school, take some time to exam. Oh, okay, we got options, I see. <clears throat> Let's examine our surroundings. The school looks remarkably classy, so much so that it's hard to believe that it's not an expensive, private one. It's not far from the city, and we can get there just by walking a few minutes. Even if the noises of the urban activity can be heard in the background, the trees surrounding the buildings give me the feeling that this place is apart from the rest of the world. The place may be interesting, but how's my new life here going to be like? All right, let's find out. The meeting was brief. What is that a... What is that back there? I was rapidly told about the school's rules and equipment. Then we were done. Oh. Mr. Headmaster. One last thing. I don't want you to be lost here, so a student from your class will give you a tour. You should arrive soon. Understood. Should I do different voices? I'm gonna try. It's probably a bad idea. Ah, speak of the devil. Come in, Zachary. <laughs> Hello, sir. Zachary looks at me. Hey, you must be the new student. Nice to meet you. The name's Zach Hill. I think we're in the same class, so if you ever need anything, feel free to ask. So, what are your thoughts about the school? Uh, I'm gonna go with the I don't know, because I, I don't know yet. I can't say I haven't been here for long. Well, I guess you'll have some sort of opinion soon. Hey, why are you chatting in my office? Alright. Don't you have a tour to go on? You're right, sir. Is that Neil deGrasse Tyson? I don't think he has gray hair yet. I'm so sorry for being such a nuisance. Oh no, what happened? Can I go back? Oh, it like double clicked or something. I don't like that. Okay, hopefully it wasn't important. I don't have time for your sarcasm, Zach. Now get out of my office. Hey, I just realized I haven't asked your name yet. What is it? My name, oh. That's my name. Oh, look at that. I'm Cab VRV. I'm Cab Verb. So it's Cab Verb. I got it right. It's Cab VRV. I shouldn't start this by saying Cab Verb. That'll stick with me for the rest of my life. Yeah, you got it. Well, let's go, Cab VRV. I'm just going with Cab from now on. The tour was like the meeting earlier, quick and efficient, but thankfully, Zach is much funnier to be around than the head master. Hmm. We went through labs, the library, and more. Then Zach stopped in front of a door. So, I think we're done. Now you know what the place looks like. But I still have a little something to show you. Behind this door is the best room of the school. Are you interested? Yeah. Of course, why wouldn't I be? Great, behold, the music club room! The room is empty except for a few instruments around two guys. Their backs turned to me. The music club room, what do we got? Drum set. Looking good, some mics, lots of mics. Got a, a upright bass or a cello or something back there. Oh, I like that TV, it's brand new. This is where my friends and I rehearse. Let's introduce you to them. 
Hey! <laughs> Guys? Say hi to Cab. Andrew, Andy, Stefan. Hey guys! Andy. Stefan. Haha, <laughs> of course, I should have seen this coming. Let me explain. This is Andy, he's not much of a talker. Well, actually, he doesn't even talk at all. Oh. But that's cool, he's great to be around anyway. You know, I should preface. I only learned about um, Death Grips like a day ago. I, I don't know anything about these these guys in real life. So I don't know if Andy like actually doesn't talk or I, I have no idea. Also, <clears throat> I kind of forgot this guy's name already. The, the, the guy who I've dubbed a surfer, he, he may not be surfer-like at all. So I'm really sorry if that's the case. I have no idea. Oh, Zach, I'm so dumb. I don't know if Zack is a server. And this is Stefan. Is it Steven? I'm going with Stefan. Ooh, I'm about to make enemies on this video. You don't have to be ashamed, dude. Express yourself freely. Don't worry. Cab is chill. Uh, hello? Stefan suffers from a rare condition he's had since he was a child. It hasn't always been easy for him. He can't talk without shouting. Oh, I'm sh okay, I'm shouting, cool. No talking, just screaming. That's why he's so shy. He's afraid of being seen as rude. Yeah, yeah! I don't want to bother anybody! <laughs> and the three of us form a band. Really? That's cool. Yeah, we're still amateurs, but we're getting better every day. We're making progress. We actually have our very first concert this Friday. It, it's going to be great! Great, it better be. We're not playing anywhere like your usual rock band. We got a real gig. Who knows, actually, it might be the beginning of our professional career. I don't, don't know, we're not that good. I know, it's just amusing to make a big deal out of it. The most important thing is that it'll be fun. You should come, Cab, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Yeah, I got it, I'm there. Yeah, why not, it could be fun. Sweet. It's nice to know some people can be interested in what we make. You won't regret it. You have to see how great Stefan looks while singing. He's totally into it. Can't wait to see that. So stop, I'm not that good. Oh, look at him blushing. <laughs> like a smile. Oh, that's funny. I suddenly realized that Andy is staring at me. No, he's looking over my shoulder. I turn to face the door. <laughs> what a creeper. Uh, who's that? Ah, uh, I hadn't seen him. Oh, you're spying on us again. Come in already, Fantabongo. That's a, that's a good name. This dude is Jack too. Anthony, do not call me Fanta Bongo, Hill. Cab, this is Anthony Fantano, or Fantanango. I didn't hit anything. That's the second time it skipped. Fuck you, Hill. Anthony turns to face me. And you, who do you think you are, acting as if you're Stefan's bestie? Uh, just. Go hard, just insult him back. Yeah, let's just be like, uh, let's make the bad choices through this. Well, fuck you. No, fuck you! Zach, whew, what a battle. Okay, hold on, I, I'm gonna check out my preferences real quick here, because I feel like something might be... There is an auto forward time. I'm gonna make that really far. I think I'm just being slow here. Okay, let's, let's see if that helps. Ooh, what a battle. And again, fuck you too, Hill. <laughs> anyway, I didn't come here to listen to dickheads. He turns to Stefan. Stefan, did you get my letter? Yeah! And? I'll think about it. I'm not really sure yet. Okay, I get it. Just don't leave me hanging for too long. 
Oh, what does the letter say? Don't worry, I have an answer before next Monday. Right. Bye, Steph. Bye, suckers. That dude's a jerk. What a show. Fanta Bongo already loves you, loves you, Cad. Things would be better if you weren't always making fun of him, don't you think? He deserves... Well, it's time to go to class. Already? I'll see you two tomorrow, then. We have to practice for Friday. Sure! And Andy is there. Still. Bye, then. Back in the hallway. In the empty hallway with so many voices. So, you're about to beat the other students and start studying too, sadly. We have four hours of class coming up, but if we take a moment to present you to the class, we may buy some time. Could you try to make it as long as possible? Oh, okay. Yep. Sure. He's been nice to me. He showed me the music room. Yeah, I'm not really eager to get into maths. Maths and English anyway. I'll say as much about myself as the teacher allows. So, I'm wondering if uh, the group or maybe just the creators of the band are um, like British or something. I don't, because I don't, Americans don't say maths like plural. They would just say math, I think. Sweet! As we approach the classroom, I hear someone running after us. Hey! <laughs> That, that's my best Stefan voice from listening to, like, five songs by Death Grips. Stefan, what is it? I, uh, I wanted to ask you something, Cab. Oh, go on. Would you, would you go out with me after class? We could get some f food in town. Oh, okay, it's like that, huh? <laughs> well, let's see. I... <laughs> He doesn't wear a shirt in school. <laughs> um, yeah, let's go. Well, okay, I guess I'll come then. Wait, really? Yeah, just tell me where we would meet. Sh sure. See the Subway restaurant in the city center? We could go there. Subway? Is it a restaurant in a subway? Like a subway station? Or is it an actual, like... Subway brand, you know, little R in the corner, copyright, trademark. Sounds good to me. See you after class then. Cool, see ya. Not a date, huh? Shh, let's go to class. Ooh, what we got? Chapter two? Um, oh, chapter two, first date. Okay, I'm dating Stefan now. I'm not gonna lie, I did not see that one coming. Class ended pretty late. It was already nighttime when we got out. <laughs> I'm a bit late, and I don't really like the idea of, of making Stefan wait, so I hurry up. Of course, he's already there. Let's join him. Loading torso. Does he have like a barcode tattoo? Oh, you're finally here. Oh, he's not yelling. Huh? Something is off, but what? Yeah, I'm a bit late. Sorry about that. No problem. As long as you're here, it's cool. Yeah, he's not yelling. It's his voice that's off. He's talking normally when he should be screaming. Have I been played? What's going on? Confront Stefan about his vo Confront him or ask him? I guess I just ask him. I feel like that's what I do in real life. I'm not about to be like, Yo, bitch, what happened to your voice? This feels unrealistic. Uh, why are you speaking normally? I wouldn't have chosen those words. I thought you couldn't speak without screaming. Oh, he looks scared now. Okay, I I'll explain. First, you're right, when I speak, I normally yell. So why aren't you right now? Let me get into it, uh, let me get to it. When you arrived, I took a pill. A chill pill. 
That medication allows me to speak normally for a short time. Oh? Why don't you use those pills all the time then? Because there's a side effect to them. They're not good for my heart. I can use one from time to time, but too many would be dangerous. If they're that unhealthy, then why'd you take one? It's just, we're in public. I don't want you to be ashamed of me. Uh... Huh. I'm gonna go with that's unnecessary. I don't... I don't feel like I want to jump into the relationship too fast. I'm just gonna play it cool. Please, no more pills. You shouldn't put your health in danger just to prevent me from being embarrassed. What? You know, it's not dangerous if I just have one from time to time. And sometimes they really are necessary. Necessary? How is it necessary to talk lower in fast food? Please, Cab, you don't know what it's like to be me. You never had to suffer like I did. You never had to go through what I went through. The staring, the mockery, that's what my daily life is like. Now please, don't come and tell me what I should do. I pissed him off. Okay, okay. I'm sorry, I was just worried about you. It's settled then. Thank you. Anyway, food? We go to the counter and order our sandwiches. Oh! Neil deGrasse Tyson's here. Oh, hi, Stefan. The usual, I presume? Yes, sir. Italian bread toasted to a crisp with a bunch of lettuce and mayo. Mr. Headmaster, what are you doing here? Oh, Cab, nice to see you're already getting along with the other students. And yes, I work here after school. Money hasn't been so good lately, so I'm doing extra hours. It's not too bad. I have great discounts on those bad boys, and I like the smell of toasted bread. Yes, toasted bread is great. Especially Italian bread. Toasted to a crisp. With a bunch of lettuce and mayo. Ho, ho, ho. I'm Santa Claus. Ha! Ah, uh, you're a good kid, Stefan. Anyway, I don't have much time for chatting, so tell me what you want, Cab. I place my order and I take a seat with Stefan. A chance to win on every 22-ounce cup. This is an actual Subway. Like, straight up. It looks just like the one down the street. Of course, I guess that makes sense. I'm going to assume every subway in the country looks the same. So, what'd you get? What did I get? Something with chicken in it. Something vegan. No, I got to eat with the guy. Uh, I'm going to go with some chicken. I get, let's see, I got the uh, that sweet uh, honey chicken thing. I forget what it's called. It's like got a sweet sauce on it. That's what I got. Chicken? I'm quite in a chicken sandwich mood right now. Haha, <laughs> Anthony would hate you for that. Yo, Anthony hates everybody, dude. I know that already. Fantabongo? Why? First, don't call him Fantabongo. His name is Fantano. Well, I'm fucking up, man. I'm being, like, rude. Second, because he's vegan, he's not really into chicken sandwiches. Haha. <laughs> Alright, I understand. Speaking of which, he asked you about a letter earlier today. What was that about? Oh, it was a love letter. He said he loves me. And he asked if we could be, like, a couple. And so you don't know how to answer? Yeah, he's nice and all, but I don't really love him back. So why don't you just tell him no? I don't know, he's interesting, and I thought that it would be nice to get in a relationship. The feelings would come later. Uh, I don't know about that advice, man. I don't know, I don't know if... If that's the way to do it. Hold on, I gotta adjust my seat, man. I, my leg over here falling asleep. Alright. Uh, yeah, it doesn't feel like good advice. I don't know. Maybe you should wait for the feelings to come first. See? See? I'm over here. Mr. Relationship. He said we will end up together anyway. Ooh. Red flags. What do you mean? Anthony just keeps saying that it's fate for us to end up together. That it's bigger than us and all. He keeps talking about how everything binds us together. How his love is true and he would go through hell for me. Wow, do you really think he's a nice guy? He seems a bit too entitled to you. He seems a bit too entitled to you. It's a weird sentence. Yeah, I trust Anthony. He can be a bit pushy, but, can, but he can also be very nice. Can we talk about something else though? I feel bad about Anthony's feelings behind his... I feel bad talking about Anthony's feelings behind his back. 
Uh, yeah, sure. I don't even know the guy. I just met him that day. Right. Why don't you tell me about your upcoming concert? Oh, yeah. It's so soon. I feel like I'll never be ready. So it's your very first? Yeah, we're not so ready. I'm sure you are. Well, I'm sure we're not. Our band doesn't even have a name yet. Wait, really? Your band is nameless? Yeah, look at those flyers. <laughs> name goes here. I mean, that's the name. That's the name. Name goes here. You nailed it, bro. You know the band um, Better Than Ezra? This is an old band. Old band. The name Better Than Ezra got their name because they were at like a battle of the bands. And the band before them was called Ezra. And so they just were like, well, we're better than them. Better than Ezra. They came up with that in two seconds. Name goes here. That's, so that's a solid name. They can name themselves whatever they want. Live at Sonic's a good name. Come Next Friday's a good name. Free Price. Good name. It's easy to name a band. Man, you're a bit late. We totally are. I'm starting to think we'll just go by Name Goes Here. What'd I say? I got this game figured out. I'm elite. I'm playing on hard difficulty. So you have three days to find that name? Yeah, so if you have any good ideas, please hit us up. I'll try to find a cool name. Yeah, I got you. Okay, if I think of anything good, I'll tell you. Thanks. Oh! What is it? The time, I'm late. My after school painting class starts in 10 minutes. I've gotta go now. Stefan gathers all of his things. He really is about to leave. Oh, one last thing. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll go shopping for a few things for our concert. If you're in Zach's class, then you must be free too. You can come if you want. Just meet us at the school entrance around 2 p.m. Did I go? Ah. Oh, okay, he's gone. I guess I'll see him tomorrow then. He bounced out of Subway. I don't even think he ate. That was to go. Chapter three, shopping together. Things are heating up. Spending a lot of time together. The day, the first day you meet somebody, I don't know, man. Sometimes you gotta play it cool a little bit. Again, not Mr. Dating Advice over here, but this all seems rushed. Second day at my new school and I'm already going out shopping with my new friends. I'm kind of nervous, but if they invite me, then everything should go well, right? I'm heading to the meeting place. Oh, I've got a message from Stefan, who I didn't even get my number to. Hey, it's Stefan, lol. Stefan, he probably got my number from Zach. I don't know. Uh, which one would you prefer for this afternoon, LOL? Quiet Steph or Loud Steph? I mean, internally I want Loud Steph. Knowing that I have to speak this out loud, I kind of want Quiet Steph. But we're going to go with Loud because I, I want the real guy. You know? Loud Stefan. Okay. I mean, okay, LOL. Carrot, carrot. You guys call them carrots? I, th I think they're called a carrot. That's what I was calling. I'll be there soon. Okay, we're waiting. A few more steps and... Here I am. Andy's here. Just in time, here comes Cab. Hey, Cab! And Andy stares at me behind his soulless round glasses. Let's go, we have things to do. We're going shopping. Also, I thought this was gonna be a solo day. All of a sudden, he's inviting all his friends to it. I feel like I'm really on an emotional roller coaster here. And so we headed to the first store. Oh, while we take care of the concert, I think we should talk about our name issue. All oh, right, your band is still nameless. Yeah, so I have a deadline for us. If we don't have a name by Thursday evening, we'll pick up whatever comes to mind. So we have like two days left. Yeah, it would definitely be too late after that. Why is it so hard to find a good name? 
We need something cool, something edgy, something that really conveys what our band is all about. It might not sound important, but we'll stick with that name for our whole career. It has to be good. You're making a big deal out of it. It's not as if we're professionals yet. Still, this is our first concert. It's a first milestone. We're getting real. And Andy stares at me. Anyway, we've just arrived to our first shop. Uh, shop clerk. Welcome! That's my shop clerk voice. We need some lights for the scene. Do you guys have any idea on which kind we should choose? Uh, lights! Oh! Uh, any ideas, Andy? Lights for the scene? Andy sucks. Ugh, what a team. Any thoughts, Cab? I don't think I'm fitted for such a choice. I don't even know much about your music. Right, you've probably never heard us play before. Stefan, don't you have some recordings on your phone? I do, give me a sec. Here! <laughs> I mean, it's good though. Oh yeah, this one is nice. I think Andy did a great job on it, right dude? <laughs> Mr. Headmaster, please stop this thing. S sorry, sir. You work here too, sir? Dude, that is Neil deGrasse Tyson. He even got like a light bulb hat on. He's all about energy. Yes, tough times, right? One job isn't enough to make ends meet. Well, two jobs aren't enough either. Wow, sorry to hear that. Don't worry, you're not my psychiatrist. You're here for lights, I guess. Oh yeah, it's a light store. Duh. I have lights, what do you want? Well, Cab, now that you've got a taste of our music, you can help us with this, right? What color do you think we should get? Ooh, black lights? Let's really think about this, this is a big question. Red lights are cool. You know, you got, uh, like, a uh, horror movie action. Uh, you know, lighting up the place all red looks creepy. You know, that's real. Uh, blue, blue could look cool. Uh, a little moody green. I don't think green's a good idea. Black lights are always cool, but not everybody really wants to be around a black light. Because, you know, I mean, you might have spilled some food on your shirt or something. It might make people feel bad. I'm gonna go with red. We're gonna go with horror movie. What about some red lights? Sounds good to me, let's buy them. Mr. Headmaster, and here are your lights. Thanks for passing by Yagami Lights. I hope we see you, I hope, uh, and we hope to see you soon. Haha, -ha. you don't need to give us the regular goodbye speech, sir. I have guidelines, Stefan. To my boss, you're just a customer and you should treat and I should treat you as such. If I didn't do that, I could lose my job. I would lose my income. Then I'll have to eat less to pay for my rent. Malnourished, too tired to work properly. I'll eventually lose my other jobs. I ask you, Stefan, what will happen next? I'll starve in the street and next time I greet you, it won't be this nice. Next time I'll smile to you, it'll be in the vain hope you'll spare me a penny. It's a dark, Calm world something. I wish this didn't jump forward like that. Wait, wait, wait. Should I hit back? Uh, well, I hope I don't mess this up. Oh, yes. I. That's dumb. Okay. It'll be in a vain hope you'll spare me a penny. It's. A, yeah, it just like goes immediately. Okay, we got it. It's a dark, grim world, Stefan. Don't ever. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Calm down, sir. Sure. Twas just a little joke. Bye, come again. So, what's next? Don't you have to buy a few books for school, Cab? Yes, I do. Then we can split up. Andy and I will get some new drumsticks while Stefan and you go to the bookstore. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, I knew it. Look at him looking at me already with no shirt on. What is... Satan... S uh, spider... You gotta fly. Pentagram. You already need new drumsticks? 
Yeah, I broke them during our last rehearsal, remember? Oh yeah, right, you were unleashed! So, are you all okay to split up? Andy is... good. Stefan says... Yeah! What do you think, Cab? Are you going with Stefan? Oh yeah, I, I mean, I guess. Let's, let's go. Clearly, y'all had this planned. If, if I was in this real situation, clearly they planned this. Oh, hey guys. Let's split up. You go with the guy who invited you out to dinner last night and didn't even eat food because it really wasn't about the food. I see through their tricks. Anyway, I'm okay too. It's settled then. Let's meet in 30 minutes by the Plaza Fountain. Oh. Let's do that! See ya! And so, we went to the bookstore. What books do you need to get? Not much, just a few things for school. Oh, someone's calling me! Can you go get your books while I answer? Hmm. I don't know. It's supposed to be together all of a sudden. Oh, you got a phone call. There's a lot of red flags with this dude. Sure, I'll be outside in 10 minutes. Let's gather these books. Okay, I have all the books I need. <laughs> uh, that was funny. But now that I'm here, why don't I get something else for myself to read? Yeah, let's get another book. Maybe I might be late, but you know, you gotta prioritize yourself. Let's pick a book. Now, what should I choose? That one here has a nice cover. What about this one? I love the author. Uh, is that Anthony over there or just some beefy bald boy? Oh no. I wonder if I left, I wouldn't have seen Anthony. Look at that creepy half smile. Hey, Cab. That's definitely Anthony. Hey, what are you doing here? Isn't it obvious it's a bookstore? I'm buying books. Oh, you're into reading then? What is this, the Dumb Questions Festival? Why? <laughs> Why would I buy books if I take no pleasure in reading them? Haha, <laughs> yeah, you're right. That was stupid. Then, what kind of stuff do you read? Music history, mostly, and novels, too. You read novels? What genre? I used to be into romance, but now I prefer thrillers. I find them inspiring. Thrillers are inspiring? How? You can learn a lot in those. Murders, massacres, making evidence disappear. You know, the stuff. Oh, there's no comma there. You know the stuff. Oh, uh, right, I guess. I'm joking! Dude, you look like I threatened to kill you! Okay, we're not best friends, but I'm not gonna slit your throat open in your sleep. Ha ha! Anyway, it was nice to see you. I've gotta go. Bye! Okay, bye. That dude is weird. Man, that dude is strange. He gives me the chills. Plus, I'm late now. I should hurry up and get back to Stefan. Store employee. Thanks for shopping at In the Book. We hope to see you again soon. Oh shit. I'm really I'm really messing this up. If me and Stefan are gonna be a thing, I probably should just let the store to be on time. But I was all on this, you know, we gotta focus on number one and you do you. I don't know if that really worked out this situation, but honestly, I'm always gonna be like that. So if Stefan can't deal with it, then we're not a good fit. And that's okay. You just gotta recognize that stuff early and move on. And that is good relationship advice. Oh, he's here. There he is next to the elementary school. <laughs> just, I don't, I take my shirt off and go hang around elementary schools. Everyone's cool with it. Hey, Stefan, we can go. Are you okay? What's going on? Nothing, it's just the school. Memories. You were a pupil here? Yeah, no one says pupil in the States. I I'm definitely feeling like this is from another country. Yeah! Well, I guess it's normal to be nostalgic about those days. It's not exactly nostalgia, more like sad memories. Sad memories? What do you mean? You know how cruel kids could be, especially the kids who are different. My classmates weren't exactly tender with me. When I was a kid, I was always alone, and everybody would make fun of me. Oh no, MS Paint. The screaming boy, everybody hated me, from the students to the teachers. Let's do a little, uh, 
let's do a little uh, diagnosis of this picture here. Let's see what's going on. Um, okay, we got regular grass, quickly filled in, very quick, not staying in the lines. Um, the hands on the girl, actually all the hands are insane. They look like, um, they look like they're going to like stick to me. Like those things in the woods, uh, like you walk around a forest and they get stuck to you. They all look like they're just going to stick to you. Uh, the dude in the middle right there is definitely like the scariest looking one. Maybe pointy, the one with the pointier nose. Um, I guess there wasn't really much to analyze here. Probably should have just uh, hit the space bar. Uh, let's just move on. They would call me Shriek Steph. I was friendless, rejected by all. It was really hard. Every day I would come back from school crying. I hated it. I felt as if I was a nuisance. I was convinced that the world would be better off without me. I didn't know. It must have been really hard. Oh, yeah, those weird. Those years were hard. But one day, a new student arrived. Andy. Oh, yeah, because Andy don't say shit. Andy, the Andy that I know? Yeah, that Andy. We immediately became good friends. We would spend hours just sitting together, having the time of our lives. We wouldn't talk, but we still understood each other. I wasn't alone anymore. And how did you meet Zach? <laughs> I met Zach a few years later. He had been my neighbor for some time, but I hadn't noticed him. One day, he just came to us and asked asked if we wanted to form a band, just like that. And that's how our friendship began, through music. We've played together for years, and now we're having our first concert in just a few days. You've come a long way. Yeah, but don't we all? True words. Very true. Anyway, we should stop dwelling on the past. Andy and Zach must be waiting for us. Right, let's join the others. Yo, Stefan, Cab, there you are. So, what are we doing now? I think we plan to go to rehearsal. Oh, I think we plan to go to rehearsal in a bit. All right, practice. Want to come, Cab? We we'll just chill and go through our songs. I most definitely do. What if I said no? Man, I feel like there's some really harsh answers here. I should play this twice. Yeah, I'm in. Cool, let's go then. It's gonna be fun. And one, and two, and one, two, three, four. <laughs> it's only been two days and I already feel quite close to these three guys. The only thing I'm worried about is Anthony. He's kind of a creep. But I may be mistaken about him. Stefan said he's cool. For now, just sit back and enjoy the music. If any of y'all ever get married one day, that's the song. That's the song to play. That's your first dance. Okay, I'm pausing this real quick. I didn't know I was going to be reading so much. And I need some uh, real water, not a coffee mug drink. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay. That's high quality H2. Whoa. Let us continue. Chapter 4, The Fantano Case. <clears throat> hey, Cab. Here's today... Band name ideas. Homeless losers. I punch ya. I like that one. Me dead. You? Oh, that one's better. They all suck. LOL. Oh, I thought that was a band name. So if you have any idea, share. I said I would, just I don't have any good idea yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. Want to go to the cafeteria in one hour? Can't. I'm going home right now. 
Oh, too bad. Don't you have class right now? I do. I'm giving a presentation in 15 minutes. In front of the whole class. I'm a bit nervous. Did I say anxious? Nervous or anxious. Plus, that's an important test. I shouldn't screw up, lol. I'm wondering if I should take a pill. Why? You don't need those. I kind of do, actually, lol. I'd be more confident with those. It's easier to talk in public when you're normal. Frowny emoji. And it's not like I would do it often. It's just for that test. What should I tell him? I mean... Okay, so yeah, it's a choice, right? Clearly, um, there's two things going here. It's either don't take the pill, be you, be yourself. Well, it's all good. Yeah, you should be yourself. But also, I don't know shit about, like, I didn't know anything about it. I said that right in the beginning, right? Like, oh, what is that? Oh, that's weird, you know? Um, well, I didn't say it was weird, but, you know, I, I didn't know anything about it. Who am I to tell him to not take the pill? I don't like that I have to take a choice. Actually, I, I, would, I wouldn't say anything. I wouldn't say a thing on this one. I'd just be like, alright. I don't know why it's supposed to be up to me. Actually, I'm really struggling with this. Let's go with... Let's go with... Uh, let's go with don't take a pill. You shouldn't, dude. You already had one this week. You don't need it. I'm with you. Yeah, you may be right. No. There's a... The, the typos... I don't know. When I, when I make it... When I type in a messaging app... I mean, I got good grammar. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe is two words in that context. Maybe there's one word. Anyway, let's move on. Oh, by the way, could you send me a pic of yourself? Uh, why, lol? I just need one for your contact profile on my phone. I don't know why do that. Oh, yeah, right. Just let me find something, lol. Oh, it's gonna be... Here it is. Okay, that's a good one. I was worried. Cool, thanks. I'll let you get ready for your presentation, then. Just one last thing, please. Yeah, what? Do you know anything about Anthony? He's been missing class for two days, and he won't answer my texts. You ever heard about him for two days? Yeah. That's weird. I saw him yesterday, and he seemed normal. You saw him where? In the bookstore. Oh, okay. Just tell me if you got anything new. I will. Bye. I resume my walk home. When I arrived, this place was alien to me, but after just a few days, I already feel at home here. Uh? Uh-huh. Fantano. Is that Anthony's house? Maybe I should check if there's anyone inside who could tell me how he's doing. Dude, what are you doing? There's a 0% chance I would walk up to this dude's house and ring the doorbell. Plus, Anthony's kind of a jerk. I'm just going home. It's not my job to play detective, plus, I don't really care about Fantano. I'm going home. That was probably not the right move. From a, from a gameplay perspective, I probably just missed out on something, but that's what I would do. I'm playing this how I would do this in real life. So how did your presentation go? Pretty good, thanks. And thanks for your advice on the pill, too. I think it helped. Cool. You're free tomorrow noon, right? We could have lunch together. Um, yeah, sounds good. You ain't gotta be a weird, just the two of us. That sounds good to me. See you tomorrow, then. Yeah! Bye, lol. Man, you could just say no a lot. I feel like you could just constantly shut everything down. This could be a short game. Oh, shit. Chapter 5, Threatened. I'm supposed to meet with Stefan so we can join the others for lunch, but he hasn't shown up yet. I wonder why he's taking so long. Did he forget? I was quite eager to spend time with him. I hope he won't take too long. You're waiting for Stefan. Oh, uh, wait, 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 wait. Anthony. You're waiting for Stefan, right? <laughs> this guy. Oh, Anthony. Stefan was worried about you. 
Answer me. Are you waiting for Stefan? Why, yes. Well, he isn't coming. Why? Is he okay? Yeah, it's just that someone locked him up in the bathroom. And he'll come out when that someone wants him to. What the fuck? Why would you do that? Just so we can speak privately. Not for long. I wonder if I went to his house if we would have had the same conversation and not had it here. What do you want? You will delete Stefan's phone number and you won't approach him ever again. If he asks you why, you'll tell him he disgusts you. You're sick in the head. I'm not, I know what I'm doing. Now hammer your phone. What the hell, Anthony? You can't force me. I'm sorry, oh, I'm sorry Stefan seems to prefer me over you, but you don't have to be so sore about it. Grow up. I said hammer your phone. He's, boy, he's gonna be more of a villain as time goes on. Why would I do that? Because I have a knife and you don't. Oh shit. Alright, real talk. Nobody wins a knife fight. Even if I had a knife. It, as, as it goes, you get in a knife fight with somebody. And you're all stabbing each other. And you win. Then you bleed to death and die. Nobody wins a knife fight. Especially if you don't have a knife. Uh, but, this isn't real. No one's gonna stab me. So I'm gonna man up to this dude. See what happens. Fuck you, Fontano! You bald ass bitch. With your mustache, and your frowny eyebrows, and your no eyes seeing wrinkly ass shirt, arms floating torso, jerk. You sure about what you just said? No, nah, you're right. Let me correct this. Fuck you, Fanta Bongo. <laughs> oh shit. All right then. This is a mistake. If this game's over. Anthony raises his knife. Uh oh shit, where is a fight? Grab his arm. I got the strength. I tried to stop him by grabbing his arm, but instead I get a bad cut on the hand. That was a bad move. This is all your fault! Stefan was gonna be mine, but you had to ruin it all! He's about to strike again. I guess I'm going to hit him in the face. I managed to punch him hard enough for him to loosen his grip on the knife. The weapon falls to the floor with a metallic sound. This is not leading you anywhere. I'm thinking about picking up the knife. Ooh. But Anthony throws himself in my direction. We're gonna duck right. I avoid a punch and get ready to counterattack. <laughs> this is sick. It's a little fight scene going. Gotcha! Shit, he grabbed me. It's over, Cab. You end now. Time for the transition to your death. He takes his free hand to my neck and tightens his grip. I try to break free, but he won't let me go. It's useless, Cab. You can't fight these vegan gains. <laughs> and that man over here eating uh, a lot, of, eating his beans. He brings his other hand to my neck and squeezes with all his might. I can't breathe. He's too strong. Oh, shit. My vision gets blurry. I lost? Oh, fuck. I just got murdered by Anthony in this. Oh, shit. Your boy out here, Andy. You knocked Anthony out. It's, all, it's the quiet guy, you know? You gotta look out. <laughs> look at Zach. I just, I'm stabbed. I'm bleeding all over the place. And, uh, Anthony just is dead, bleeding on the ground. And Zach's just like, hey guys. Well, I think you can save us for saving your ass. I take a moment to catch my breath and get back to my feet, feeling weak. Wow, thank you. You really got me out of trouble there. How did you know I was in danger? We didn't. We just were here to beat Anthony's ass. We were just keeping an eye on that dude. He's nuts. Wow, thanks again. I think you would have killed me. We should go to the police or something. Uh, we, we should get to the police or something like that to take care of him. Then we can talk about this. Okay? Yeah. <clears throat> we called the police and Anthony was arrested. We were asked a few questions before we were let go. <laughs> well, that's a crazy adventure you just went through. I can't believe such a student could have been doing those things here unnoticed. 
It seems like your school's administration's not so competent. Ho, ho. Ha, ha. Ha, ha. Nice one, sir. Okay, now scram. We leave the scene and stay silent for a few seconds. Oh. Dude, this is the police. Ah, I like that. We leave the scene. Oh, I already read that. And we're gone. And we're back. What a day, right? So why was Fanta Bongo after you? Uh, conflict of interest. <laughs> hey guys! Steph! You'll never guess where I was. Uh, what's going on? Fanta Bongo tried to kill Cab. What? Well, why? Because he's fucked up. <laughs> it's, it's because of you. Uh, what did I do this time? I'm sorry. It's not your fault. He loved you. He thought I was a threat. Oh, so he had to get rid of you. I see. The things teenagers can do when it comes to feelings. Am I right? Yeah, nobody knows about that. Isn't that a thing normal teenagers do? Uh, not really. Oh! Guess he really was fucked up then. <laughs> hey, let's celebrate! Celebrate what? The guy who had a crush on you was a psychopath all along. We don't care, let's go get some ice cream! In the front of the school. We all sit on a bench together, enjoying our ice cream. I take some time to reflect and think about the past week. Uh, guys? Yeah, what is it? I think I've got an idea for your band's name. Really? Earlier, when Anthony had grabbed me, I felt something strong. I think that feeling may be a good name for your band. The Grip of Death. Hmm... It's a good idea. Maybe we can make it even more impactful. Death Grips. Andy! He's right! Death Grips it'll be! I like it! Tomorrow will be Death Grips' first concert. Then... We do have to edit the posters! Yes, let's do that now! Epilogue. Heartbeat, heartbeat. We're on stage in 10 minutes. I'm so nervous. Andy, where are my drumsticks? Thanks, man. I don't think I could do it. You will. Oh, thank you, Cab. But seriously, my bad, we're on stage in three minutes. Cab! People want me to sing, right? I can't just come and shout on the scene. I need to take a pill. No, don't do it. Be yourself. No, Steph, you don't need this. Just go and be yourself. Your natural voice is amazing. You really think so? Yes. Tee hee. Blushy face. We're on stage in one minute. Let's go, guys. Thanks, Cap. Oh, uh, yo, we are Death Grips. Music nerd. This is so cool. Music from the heaven. This is a true success. In the middle of this loving crowd, as I watch Stefan giving it, a, giving it all on stage, I can't help but feel something. I think everything will be all right. I'm safe. I have some new great friends and maybe more. What is this warmth in my body? It's as if I was leaving for a ride to love. Okay. <laughs> well, All right, well, uh, that was a ride to love, the Death Grips game. Uh, 0% what I expected. I I didn't really know what I expected there. That was, but that was not it. Uh, 
<laughs> it's fun. I enjoyed it. I don't know. Kind of crazy. Crazy, I guess. Oh, oh, we're back. What a success, guys. Yeah, it was awesome. That's right. Hey, Cab, want to go for a walk? Yes. I'm coming. No, I would like... Oh, like it would be just the two of us. Oh, right. I'll let you get to it then. Let's go! The end. Okay, there's the true end. All right, you know, yeah, it was cool. All right, uh, <laughs> the intro scene is by far the best, though. Gets me really hyped. Look at this, uh, <laughs> look at the uh, photo on the right from the, uh, from the photo booth. That is sick. All right, I'm done. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm out of here. Till next time. Thanks, y'all.